YouTube, Topaz Jakes back for another daily review, and this one is to that Lil Bibby, You Ain't Gang, the remix with Lil Durk, Dej Loaf, and Kevin Gates, and I'm giving this one the yellow light, because simply put, not really that entertained here, man, but I can understand why this song is going hot in the streets and such right now, because they're using a commonly used term that a lot of people are saying that you're not gang to associate people who try to be cool with individuals who really ain't down with the clique. Obviously, not everybody's affiliated with gangs, so they're ultimately talking about the people that they grew up with, the team that they always surround themselves around. That's what they consider to be gangs for anybody who don't know. But yes, this does also cover gang affiliations that a lot of people in the streets are actually rocking with. And that's honestly why I feel as though this song strikes such a chord amongst the youngies and such that's out there, you dig? Because a lot of people just like to roll with their own people, man, whether it's gang affiliated or not. Ultimately, everybody can somewhat relate. Now, musically, this is just typical trap music that's far catchier than most projects and such that's out there, man. And it's so catchy that all of these other acts decided they needed to hop on it. Because the original You Ain't Gang is just Lil Bibby in which what Lil Bibby's doing, he's taking the first verse from the original and putting it here on the remix, which ultimately makes sure that this isn't a true remix because a true remix is when you change all of your lyrics and then you change all of the beats and everything too, but yet it's all remained consistent like that's something that R. Kelly pioneered from back in the day but yet in this day and age man the remix is pretty much having additional verses added on as you go. Now honestly lyricism is something that is just not expected to be here like as far as extravagant punchlines as far as wordplay and all of that really should not have expected it going into this joint man it's more about these individuals getting that raw emotion off of their chest to the point that other people will feel it and dance to it in the clubs and all of that. Now the most lyricism off of this entire track that you're getting is from Kevin Gates where he's saying he got a telescope on the chopper. Like he definitely did have a couple moments within there that were kind of decent, but yet nothing really highlight material. Now I do feel as though you have to be a Dash Loaf fan in order to like Dash Loaf's voice here, man, because she definitely does feel like she's dragging down the entire track with that one. She's really just not experienced enough to be able to flip up her game to be really at home on this super commercialized trap type joint. Just honestly Honestly, not that impressive of a track, man, but you can honestly tell what songs are being played out there in the streets based upon how many people decide they want to lay a buzz to. I mean, you really can't count on your hands how many people did the Ooh remix and such, man, made their own variation of it. But it's still a track I recommend people to peep out just so you know what's hot out there in the streets right now so you don't get lost and stuck in your way. But a quick recap, the positives that I'm taking from this, man, is the catchiness for it because I quite honestly understand why people are all over this track right now. And it's because it's because it's catchy, it's because people say this all the time, and it's because people somewhat relate. But yet the negatives is you're really not getting much lyricism, and it's not really that great of a song, dude. But this concludes today's review, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer DJ Stackman. Before we jump into the news, and then jump into an article from downloadpads.com. This news section is usually dedicated to hip hop news and such, man, but this is something I really just want to talk about. We got Dylan Roof out there, got sentenced to the death penalty, and you know what? Yes, he deserved to die, and I hope he falls in hell! But let's not get it twisted here. The only reason why he got sentenced to death here is simply put, he wanted to. He actually wanted to sacrifice himself. He didn't want to follow the blueprint that had been left for him to take in order to get straight off. You got to understand, he wants to go down as a martyr for white white supremacists, white extremists and such, man, and that's exactly what he's going to be. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, and today's article is about craving attention, and this is where most MCs really go wrong when they're actually coming up in the game, man, because Rappers tend to crave attention so badly that they'll sign anything in order to get it, and record labels play off that. That's honestly why 360 deals are even in existence, because if rappers actually weren't so thirsty for the limelight, then they would sit down and realize that none of this deal was in my favor, I could honestly make more money just being independent and being a no-name act in my city. But yet they're so thirsty to get that little bit of money, man, that they're going to end up being in debt for the rest of their lives for, that they honestly just let it slide. And you know, I'm not knocking anybody who has absolutely nothing. P. 
people who honestly need a dollar to come up in the game and they're going to take it and try to flip it and do something positive with it, even if it's a negative deal, why not? But yet when an MC already has a following, when they already doing things out there in the streets, they still end up signing these deals for no particular reason, man. And it's all because they're so thirsty for the limelight. If you legitimately have a following, man, then these people need to come to you and break bread for real and give you a positive deal, give you a Michael Moore like deal, instead of you just taking whatever they throw at you. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.